President Obama has not tried to hide who he truly is. You can find pictures of him in Muslim dress and participating in Muslim prayer. He's a Muslim. There's no question about it. His belief is so solidified in his mind that he forgets to lie about it to the American people. John McCain has not talked about my Muslim faith, and you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come... Faith. That my, my Christian faith. That was George Stephanopoulos pretending to be a journalist helping Obama lie. And if you'll remember, Obama also spoke about everyone celebrating their roots, whatever that is. And yesterday was par for the course. Obama, speaking at a mosque, embarrassed himself again. For more than a thousand years, people have been drawn to Islam's message of peace. And like so many faiths, Islam is rooted in a commitment to compassion and mercy and justice and charity. Generations of Muslim Americans helped to build our nation. So there he goes again. Mr. President, what exactly has Islam contributed to America? For that matter, what positive thing has Islam contributed to the human race? America did not attack Islam. Islam attacked America. And explaining why they do it is easy. Muslims attack everybody. Muslims will even kill other Muslims just for not being their kind of Muslim. Muslims attack, murder, kidnap, rape, torture, enslave, shoot, blow up, and behead anyone who disagrees with them. There isn't any group in all global society that is more violent, yet Barack I insists Islam is a religion of peace. I, for one, am sick and tired of this fool, or any other fool on the left, insulting my intelligence, trying to tell me I'm not seeing what I'm seeing. Islam is nothing more than a political ideology masquerading as a religion, bent on global domination and willing to achieve it by eliminating all opposition by any means necessary. Just like the left, their message is spread by intimidation. They can't win a substantive facts-only debate, so they bully, ridicule, and lie about who they are. Islam is the most violent, destructive force the world faces today. It is a threat to national security and to the safety of all Americans. But unfortunately, Barack Hussein Obama is on their side. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at theraywarnershow.com.